Some of CapCut's features require credits like AI characters. If you want to use me, you're going to have to pay. Jumping into CapCut, you can see that even though I have the paid version of CapCut, CapCut Pro, if I want to make one of these AI characters say this text up here, I can click on her and I can see down here that it says credits needed 10. If I hover over the I, it explains why, because one second equals two credits and it's estimating that this will take about five seconds, so I'll need 10 credits. And here I can see that I have 316 credits left. And if I click on this arrow, we can learn something that you're gonna to need to know if you want more credits. I've got a total of 316 credits. These are subscription credits. I'll explain what that is in a moment. And it says you can buy credits on CapCut Mobile. So you can only buy credits on CapCut Mobile. You cannot do it on your desktop. So exactly how does that work? CapCut has three main offerings. They have the desktop version, the mobile version, and the online version. CapCut has a free version of each and a paid version of each. The way it works is if you pay for CapCut Pro, you get CapCut Pro for all three versions, desktop, mobile, and online. Now the free version of CapCut gives you really everything you need to edit. I mean, at its core, editing is just placing one shot after another. And the free version gives you the ability to do that and a million more things. The pro version, you don't need really, but once you try it, you may want it. In fact, if you want to try the pro version, I've got a link in the description below where you can try it for free for seven days. So I suggest you click that link and check it out. As I said in the beginning of this video, CapCut also has features that require credits. That's completely separate from the pro features CapCut offers. Most or all of the features that require credits are AI features like the AI characters I showed you in the beginning. So to clarify, CapCut has free features, pro features, and features that require credits, whether or not you're in the free or the pro version of CapCut. Until now, CapCut credits have been a big mystery. I'm about to solve that mystery for you. And I'm also gonna show you how you can get instant support from CapCut online, like I just did yesterday. Yeah, a commenter had a question about credits and I just went down the rabbit hole and spent a bunch of time figuring this stuff out for you so you don't have to. With the free version of CapCut, you get zero credits. When you purchase CapCut Pro, you get 550 credits per month. These are called subscription credits. There are also credits that you can purchase. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And there are also activity credits for when CapCut is running some kind of a promotion where you can get free credits. You can find these promotions on the home screen on any of the versions of CapCut. And sometimes you'll see promotions on TikTok or Instagram if you wanna enter some of these promotions so that you can earn activity credits. All these credits work a little bit differently. Subscription credits reset every month and they don't roll over. So you get 550 credits one month, the next month it'll just reset, you get another 550, but the ones you didn't use won't roll over. For credits you purchase, those are good for two years and they are good for desktop, mobile, and online. And it doesn't matter if you have the free version of CapCut or the paid version of CapCut. Let me show you now where to purchase credits on mobile only, remember mobile only, and how much they cost for me in my region. Here in CapCut, we click on the bottom right screen where it says me. Then I click on Trev Space up here. I wait for it to load. And then I click on Pro right here. And if I scroll down like this, I can see, and they make this really hard. I even told the rep, it's so hard to find these. I can see buy and check credits. By the way, while we're here, you can see that with the pro version of CapCut, I get 100 gigs of space, and that means I can upload my stuff to the cloud, and then I'm able to edit it from either my laptop, from my mobile devices, or from the online version. They all talk to each other, so all the information is up there. You don't need to just store it on your hard drive. To purchase credits and see how many you have left for the month, you just click right here where it says buy and check credits, and then bam, I've got 316 credits left, and notice that it distinguishes them, subscription credits, 316, other credits, those are credits you purchase or activity credits, I don't have any of those, but I can buy them for, looks like one penny per credit in different chunks. So to buy them, I would just click on, you know, the amount that I want and hit buy, and you'd get a screen that looks just like that. And uh, do I have any personal information? Nope, I can pay with my touch ID or use the card on file. Bam, and that's, that's all there is to buying credits. You can use the AI features in 
any of the versions of CapCut. CapCut Mobile offers text to image generation. To get to it, you jump onto your home screen and up here you'll see somewhere text to image. If you don't see it, you click this down arrow and it'll show up down there. By the way, you can reorganize these things based on what you use most. To do that, you just click and hold and then you drag it to where you want it to go. And to generate an image using text, I will click text to image. Now down here, you notice that it says credits needed two and credits left three. A minute ago, I had not generated any images with text and it said that I had three uses left. And I saw this on my free account as well. So whether you are using CapCut free or CapCut paid, you do get three free images you can generate with this text to image generation. Once I generated three images here on my paid account, suddenly this changed. Instead of saying three, it said 316. I've got 316 credits left and it takes two credits to generate an image. Once you run out of credits, whether you're on paid or mobile, you just go and purchase more credits on mobile. If you're on CapCut desktop, you can use CapCut's new text to image generator called Dreamina. To get there, you can go down here in the bottom left and this will either pop up, it keeps scrolling through. If you don't see the word Dreamina here, just click on these arrows until you get back to Dreamina and then you can just click on it. And that will take you to this URL right here. And Dreamina looks like this. The primary offering in Dreamina right now is just text to image generation but in the future, you'll be able to generate videos and generate music with this app. Right now it's in beta and uh, I, I just need to stay tuned, I guess. Oh wait, I can apply. Oh, just learn that. So I can apply and get the access to the uh, generating music thing coming soon. You, you might want to try that, could be cool. The way credits work in Dramina is everybody gets 120 credits per day. And if you want to use more credits, you click upgrade to get credits. And this is the yearly cost, monthly cost. If you just want one month like that, it's not gonna be recurring, it's gonna be a little more. But basically the way it works is for 15 bucks a month, you will be paying $1.49 for every 100 credits. You get 1,010 credits per month, which will generate about 505 images or 42 videos once they are generating videos with it. But everybody gets, like I said, right here, 120 credits per day so you can try it out. If it's a big thing you'll be using a lot, you might wanna you know, pay for some credits. Now, one thing to note about Dreamina and CapCut, and I get this question a lot in my comments is, hey, I don't see the features. I don't see Pro. I don't see this or that that you're showing in your videos. That's because CapCut's and Dreamina's features and prices will vary by region. Some regions may not even have Dramina available. Some regions may not even have CapCut Pro. So if you don't see exactly the same thing on your computer or on your phone or your iPad, it's probably because you're not on the West Coast of the United States where I am. So if you're on the West Coast of the United States and you don't have these features, hit me up in the comments or uh, go on online support, which I'll show you how to do in a second to see why not. So if you're in the US, you'll probably have all the same features and the same prices and credit availability that I have. The core features of CapCut should be virtually the same across the world. And lucky for you, if you wanna learn CapCut, especially if you're a beginner, I created a course just for you where I teach you everything CapCut does that you need to create stunning videos really easily. If you're like super on it, you can blow through the course in a day and get really good at CapCut. I mean, you wanna spend a little more time messing with it to get really good, but you can learn all the basic features. The course is about five hours with a bunch of lessons that covers everything CapCut does from basic edits to the pro features to the AI stuff. And not only do I teach you to use CapCut, and I slow down a little bit, I know I, I speak too fast sometimes, but in the course I slow down and I teach you to use everything. And I also teach you everything you need to know to get more views and more subscribers. Like there's 10 steps you follow with every video. If you do that, frankly, most people are just too lazy to do it. You're watching this, so you're not that person. But if you do these 10 things I tell you with every video, your channel will grow way faster than it's grown now, and you will get more views and more subscribers guaranteed. If not, get your money back. So click on that link right up here. I think I'm pointing in the right place this time for a change, or go to the link in the description below. Most of the stuff I shared with you today, I learned from a rep at CapCut named Nelly. In fact, this is how you can communicate live with a CapCut rep. And I had to wait like only five or 10 seconds for her to get on and she answered all my questions, it was great. So if you have CapCut questions, there is a way. Their support is actually pretty good. If you've had trouble with them, maybe you didn't know that you could do this. So you just go into CapCut, you can do this on desktop, mobile, or online. Up here in the top right, there's this little chat bubble, you click on that. 
And look at this, online support. How can we help you? So I can just hit chat with a live agent and with a few seconds, I'll be able to talk to an agent and get answers to all of my questions. And I have done this before and it's been very helpful every time. If you wanna learn how to crush CapCut Mobile, you wanna click on this link right, right here, right now.